dehumidifiers, are they any good? To answer that question, I would say for us, the dehumidifier has been absolutely fantastic. It's changed the house, the humidity levels obviously, mould, dampness on walls, that's really reduced. So if you feel that you need a dehumidifier, here's some of the things that you really should do before you even buy one. The first thing is find out if you actually need a dehumidifier. Sometimes you just might be getting condensation on your windows, that's sort of normal. What you want to do is get yourself a cheap meter that can measure humidity. We use these wee things. These are pretty cheap. It's chilly in here today, but it's 63% humidity. The reason I started getting meters was I wasn't sure if our humidity levels were really high. Once I got the meters, I had a few of them, I've got about three of them. I really realised that our humidity levels were about 70, sometimes as high as 80% humidity in some of the rooms. So what we did was we decided to get a dehumidifier. Now we started with cheap ones, don't go there. If you've got a humidity level that sits consistently above 70, I would just go for a big one. Just go for a big one and, and bring that into your house. The, the small ones, they work away, but they, oh, can, the maximum they can draw is like a quarter of a litre. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Maybe get half a litre. Uh, that sounds like quite a lot out there, but it takes a whole 24 hours for it to do that. Uh, what we got was a bigger one, which can take 12 litres per day out of the air. Now that sounds like a colossal amount of water, but if you've got a humidity problem, you need that water out there. If you're cooking in your living space, you know, if you've got a sort of area where the kitchen is, our kitchen is directly onto the living room, so we get quite a lot of moisture in the living room. So the dehumidifier is great for down there, it takes care of that. And also if you're using it in your living space, you want something that's quite quiet. Uh, some of them can be quite noisy. So when you set up your dehumidifier, it will start sucking the moisture out the air. Um, you need something with a decent sized tank. So ours comes with about four litres, I think. It's quite substantial. When it's full, it's heavy. Um, and it's it, there's a lot of water in there and it fills up remarkably quickly. We don't have a humidity problem now. We only really use it now when we've got a laundry hanging up inside in the winter time. We don't need it all summer, but in the winter time, we definitely need it. And what that does is when you're hanging laundry up in your house, it just sucks the moisture out the air, helps the clothes to dry faster, and also that moisture that comes out of the clothes is not hanging about in the air. Now if you've ever used a tumble dryer and you dry your clothes, a condensing tumble dryer, and you need to empty that all the time, if you were hanging those clothes on your radiators, that amount of water would be hanging about in your air. It's quite a lot. It's always surprising how much water comes out of clothes. It's worth getting a dehumidifier if your humidity levels are high. When I say high, it's consistently above 70%. So just to recap, when you're choosing one, choose one with a high capacity. High capacity as in something over 10 litres a day you want to be taking out the air. A big uh, container for holding the water, at least 2 litres, otherwise you're going to be emptying that constantly or it'll be sitting full and it won't be extracting water from the air. Also check the, the amount of energy it uses. Ours is 180 watts, so that means to use a kilowatt, probably a bit more than five hours, which is quite a lot of running time, but these things need to be running for about 12 hours a day. Now obviously if you've got serious problems with your house like a leaking roof or a rising damp, the dehumidifier won't take care of that. What it does is just reduce the amount of moisture in the air, but if you've got a fundamental problem causing the high humidity, you really need to take care of that first, because uh, a dehumidifier just lets you pretend there's nothing wrong <laughs> for a wee while. It won't fix the problem. Now the dehumidifiers come in, they're all different prices. I'll put some links to the one we actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. We've been using it for years now. This make seems to be pretty reliable and uh, their machine works really well. Hope this helps. 
pay humidity in your, your, your homes a horrible problem to have during the winter months in the UK especially. This is a good way to deal with it.